Hi, it's William. Welcome to my channel. So this is the, the final result of uh, last time I draw this amazing lady and turn my 2D drawing into 3D art. But still, I'm not too satisfied with the final result because the background uh, is too flat, uh, even though I add depth to it. So I have done a little bit of research and uh, find out that you can actually uh, turn a 2D image into a 3D thing by using Blender. So here is the final result. So how do I do it? I first search for Creative Commons image. You can go to Creative Commons uh, official website and search for all the Creative Commons image. And I found this amazing mountain view. And uh, I import that into Blender as a reference image. But things as a reference image, as I learned last time, it will not render. So you have to attach this image or project this image into a plane. So I shift the A, create a plane and extrude it, uh, click and drag it to cover approximately the size of the mountain. And uh, here comes to my personal experience. I've done a little bit of trial and error, and uh, I find that uh, it's better to cover less of the mountain rather than more of it. If you cover more of it, and uh, when you do the parallax uh, move of the camera, um, sometimes the, the extinguish between skies is so great that uh, it, uh, the, the viewer will notice. And it's a little bit weird, but uh, since the mountain got grass, got trees, got dirt, and it's really complex, and sometimes you can get away with it. So uh, my suggestion is that you cover less of the mountain. And then uh, for a little bit more realistic, you can use grab and adding an area to the grab, and then you can uh, extrude some part of the mountain and uh, make some dents in the mountain. Uh, this is just a um, completely discretionary. Uh, you don't need to follow a certain rule uh, because the, once you project the image, uh, everything will look great. Okay, and here comes the amazing part, which will be the projection from view. Uh, of course, you need and you have to be in the camera view at that exact moment because if you don't in the camera view, um, things will get extremely weird because you're going to project the view from whatever view that you are actually on. Once in camera view, you click U and click project from view. Of course, you can add a background image and uh, use the texture and select image as a texture. Then you can click dot while holding the shift then you enter into a bird view mode and then you can use the WASD to fly around. And the final results is amazing. I think that is definitely going to be one of the skills that uh, I uh, want to use uh, in my next art project. I uh, hope my video is helpful. Uh, if you think my video is helpful, please give me a thumb up. And if you want to support me, please, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, see you at my next artwork. Bye.